Good day. This video will give a brief introduction and overview of the gutter design module. The gutter and downpipe design module analyzes gutters and downpipes that drains the roofs of building structures. The program supports metric as well as imperial units of measurement. The program currently only supports the British design code. Within the ribbon, there is a roof layout as well as a gutter dimension input panel where you can specify the layout of your roof structure and the gutter that will be used. You can specify an eaves or a valley gutter layout. For this video, I will work with the valley gutter example that is available within the ribbon. The roof dimensions can be set by defining firstly the width of the roof from the gutter to the ridge, the length of the roof that will be drained into the gutter. You can set a horizontal offset for the start of the roof's ridge, which can be left blank to define a rectangular roof area. The length of the roof at its ridge and lastly, the height of the roof from the gutter to the ridge. The gutter layout and wind parameters can be set by defining the start position of the gutter as well as the end position of the gutter. The three different wind characteristics are driven, where the rain is driven onto the roof resulting in an increased water flow due to the rain on sloping roofs. Perpendicular, where the impermeable area of the roof is calculated using the distance from the gutter to the ridge measured along the slope of the roof. And then lastly, none, where the rain is falling vertically and the impermeable area of the roof is calculated using the horizontal distance from the gutter to the ridge. The gutter type can be set as either an eaves or a valley gutter. The risk factor can be set for which the minimum rainfall intensity will be multiplied with. You can specify a single or multiple downpipes by defining the type and position of the downpipe along the gutter's length. With the type of outlet, which can be specified as one of three types. One, a sharp edged outlet. Two, a round edged outlet. Or three, a tapered edged outlet. The type of outlet defined will influence the flow collected from the gutter as specified within the design code. The breadth to width ratio can be kept as unity for square or circular downpipes. The width of the downpipe is specified as the larger dimension of the downpipe. You can use the diameter in the case of circular downpipes. The two tick boxes can be used to specify whether the downpipes are rectangular and whether or not a drop box is used. You can only define one half of a roof, meaning that if you have a symmetrical roof or parts of another roof structure draining into the same gutter, you can add an extra area of flow as additional inflow in the applicable input table. Simply enter the location measured from the start of the roof and the equivalent drainage area for each additional flow. After defining the roof structure's layout and downpipe positions, the gutter parameters and dimensions can be defined. Firstly, you will need to define the return period. The 2 minute M5 rainfall can be specified by using the interactive selection method that will display regional data for the UK as well as South Africa. This quantity is defined as the expected rainfall in a 2 minute period during a 1 in 5 year storm. The design duration, which can be chosen between 1 and 10 minutes. The gutter dimensions can then be defined as rectangular or trapezium shaped gutters with the following input parameters. The width at the top of the gutter, the gutter base width, the overall gutter depth, as well as the slope depth of a trapezium shaped gutter. Once the input parameters of both the roof structure and the gutters are set, an analysis can be run. The analysis tab gives a graphic summary of the drainage catchment areas that will be collected by the gutter and downpipes, as well as a visual representation of the gutter draining the water, displaying the relevant depths along the gutter's length. Typically, the upstream and downstream water depths. More detailed design information and calculations can then be viewed within the calc sheet. The program evaluates the following three components of the drainage system. The gutter that collects the flow from the roof, the outlet into which the flow from the gutter discharges, and the pipework that conveys the flow from the outlet to the lower drainage system. A gutter-only summary table is available, which indicates the status of your gutter. When the calculated downstream and upstream depth of the gutter is less than the total depth of your gutter, the status will be displayed as OK. The downpipe summary table is also shown, which indicates the types of flow experienced within your gutter as well as within the outlet into the downpipes. Downpipe outlet flow can either be orifice or weir flow. Gutter flow types in return are dependent on the calculated fruit number. The status of the downpipe is dependent on the available freeboard. When the calculated freeboard of the downpipe is more than the minimum freeboard in the gutter, the status of the downpipe will be okay. 
Detailed calculations and equations can be viewed throughout the calc sheet, with reference given to the applicable sections within the design code. The output settings within the calc sheet can also be set to only view certain information, where after the finalized calc sheet can either be printed or sent to the Procon calc pad for further editing.